Alright, hello YouTube, this is Ahio. So this week I'm going to show you how you can set up Waves Q clone in Cubase. So first what we need is two tracks. On the first one we will insert the Waves Q clone and we'll put that to the side. And on the other one we will put the Waves Q capture. And it sounds like that. And what we need to do now is we go to the devices VST connections and we make a new mono output. I have routed it so that on the output number three it will go to my reamp box where it goes to the Samsung RBI and from there it will return to my input number two. So input number two and mono output. And when we put on the input monitoring we will see that we have created a link. And we can see that my output is a bit hot but that doesn't matter. Just set it so that it looks good on the plugin and so that the EQ you will use will not distort. All right, so now that we have noticed that we get the loop, then on the Q clone we will click capture. And now we can see that when we get this sort of rippling, it means that it's distorting a bit. So let's first try to increase the headroom. Since nothing happens, it means that there's just a distortion going on in the EQ itself, so just don't mind that. And when we get this, we see that there is no, it means that it's distorting a lot. So let's just put it to a level where it's good-ish. So around minus 20, minus 18. All right, so now that when we turn the EQ, we can see that it's doing something and Let's make a smiley face, yay. Let's turn up the blend. Make even bigger smiley face. Yay, even more scooped. All right. So then we can save it to preset menu as best base EQ ever. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music.